what is up guys, 0178 here, and today I'll be showing you Movie Storm for the iPad. So should you buy this or should you not? Let's on get to it. Alright, so there goes my quick little intro made in the Movie Storm app. I've tried my best to learn how to make do things, but it's the best I can do, honestly. Uh, I would have been using the display recorder right here, but somehow, some way, Movie Storm does something that blocks mo um, display recorders and it, it destroys the sound. So I really can't do sound recording, whatever. So here it is. Here is the Movie Storm app. You can see in the background it has some type of text and whatnot. And here we go. Now I have some complaints with this. This is their first build and attempt of bringing the Movie Storm uh, possibilities from the PC to the um, iPad world. And so far, so so good. You can see here the character models aren't half bad. I'm gonna try to focus there. Start off bad. It looks a bit better on camera than it does on the iPad itself. Um, it, it really shines on the iPad 3's Renta display. Now, speaking of that, the Renta on here is zero. There is no Renta, period. If you can see here, uh, the applications icon itself isn't even Renta. So here is a Renta display app icon, and here's its icon. I don't know, it just frustrates me when apps doesn't uh, take care of that Renta. But, well, nevertheless, it's okay. So, now, this says that you can make movies with uh, this application. And they're not lying, because movies are a simulation of a bunch of photos put together, and it makes uh, animation. So that is a movie, any animation, any video is a movie. It's a type of movie anyway. But how they led you on to think is making actual dynamic animations, cartoons, or whatnot. But this is not the case. They should have never said movies, period. And they should have said this is a presentation maker. A 3D presentation maker. This is nothing like the movie Storm that they had on a PC. Even though I didn't like it on a PC in the first place. Whatever. But this is a presentation. So if we go back to projects, you can see that the first thing you're going to see... Well, the second one ever... It says, turn your photos or kino slides into a lively presentation. Okay? So what this does is, it puts your character on the side, then it puts a box on the right, and then it makes a presentation type thing. And he always looks at the presentation, and it makes a presentation. On this one, he just puts the character inside of that box. But it's still a presentation. It still works exactly the same. It's just the where you put the character. Now here, you cannot even change where the character is. You can't move him. He's always in the middle, and in the other one, he's always on the left. So you can't make him walk. You can't do anything like that. He's just stuck in the middle. So not really anything done with a movie. It's pretty much a presentation. And this is pretty much useless. Because the, the pictures, what I'm going to demonstrate here, will be scaled hugely, and it will look so fake that it, nobody, everybody would know that it's not an actual animation, and it's very cheap. So we got this desert thing that is by my house. And you can see that it doesn't really match it very well. It looks like a green screen, but it shouldn't. It's an animation. It should look cool and dynamic, but it doesn't. All right, whatever. So after that, we have a couple choices here. This, I think, is by far the coolest thing that the Movie Star app can do. And you can actually create how you look. So what you saw earlier was my attempt to create how I look. But you can do whatever you want. So I'm going to try to make an Asian. Because I feel like it. So I'm going to choose this white guy here. And we're going to choose him. And click here. And we can see that we have a couple options here. So we have this smiley face. Which allows you to choose what you want the character to look like. So here we have um, European. We have a African. Asian and old. So I'm going to try to make him more Asian than anything else. And Asians kind of look old. Not to be racial or anything. That kind of looks the same, but a little more Asian, I guess. Who knows? And uh, let's get these eyes here. Get them Asian eyes. Or manga eyes. Okay, Asian eyes, they're pretty small and squinted. Some large eyebrows or whatnot. I don't know how Asians look, people. I'm not being racial or whatnot. I'm trying my best here for movies. That looks pretty good, right? <laughs> Arch eyebrows. For some Asians, this always mad. Um, who knows? 
I'm going to keep it that way. That's my attempt as age. Who knows? Okay, whatever. So we're going to click done. Tap him again, and we can get at this hairstyle. So let's try to get an Asian hairstyle. Uh, there he goes, Asian old man. And we'll make him make it black. Okay, we got some glasses. We are trying to portray an Asian old man anyway. So I'm not gonna put any glasses, period. And last but not least. Boom. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Asian. Oh crap. There goes an iPad. So there you go, we got an Asian guy. Okay. Pretty much looks Asian. Ish. Kind of. And then we have some options to put how we would like the scene to be. We have some selections and we can't really edit it that much. It's pretty much how it is and that's about it. Then we have some options for the background color. That does absolutely nothing because you never see the background color anyway. And that's pretty much it. That's all you really can do. There's lots of lots of animations though. I have to say. They've done a lot of stuff for animation. If you can think of something, he's pretty much doing it. Jacking off no prop, dude. Let's see if we can find something. Do gangster one. Uh, no, that guy looks like Illuminati or something. Who knows? Uh, let's see. We're gonna do this. We're gonna check off the day. <laughs> root finger. Oh God, the root finger. Shoosh. Wipe off that. Oh, he's brushing them shoulders. You. Who knows? You gotta play with this thing. Oh, well, that kind of actually looks like something here. Hold on, we got something. Oh, you know, that's. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, so that, that's pretty much that. Next, we have um, lots of stuff we can do. And then we have a template timeline thing here. And that's pretty much it. We can export to 720p. I mean, 780p, and that's it. And there, how many is very broad. That's really much all you can do in this app. Other than that, you can just stare at it all day. And that's it. My name is Darren178, and there we go.